Today I want to show you one of the tightest dart strokes you can do. When you do a dart stroke from side control, usually you do it from an overhook. And I feel giving someone an underhook and taking the overhook is pretty risky. You know, it's pretty difficult to stop him from getting on his knees, from maybe taking you down and you lose the position. So personally, in the past I did the dart stroke from the overhook, but personally I believe there is a better way. And in my opinion, the best way to deal with the underhook is the cradle position. So I want to show you how to go from uh, side control to cradle to a dust stroke. So let's say you're in side control and you're in this position. And let's say you're here and the guy is turning into your direction. So he's turning into to escape, he's turning in this direction, you feel it, his knees coming up, you go for the knee and you grab the arm. And now the important thing is you sit up to this side. So I put my weight completely on my left butt cheek. From here, the, the, the important step is when you do the cradle, don't do a loose cradle. You know, don't hook and come up. Because if you straighten his leg, maybe he gets out of this and you, you lose it. The important step for me is when I go for, when I grab it here, I sit back, now I hook his Achilles, Achilles tendon and pull it pull it as far as I could. And when I get up, even when I get up, I pull still with my leg. You see, I'm coming up and I'm still, you see, pulling. With my other arm, which you could not see from this perspective, but I will show you later, I do an, also, I pinch it to control. Now, I have a pretty tight, pretty tight control. And his spine is, his posture is broken. His neck, is, his back is rounded. From here, I come up with this arm when his back is rounded. I come up and I grab my own arm. And my left hand grabs my right hand. Now I pull with my left hand, my right hand, here, you see? From here, it's pretty simple. You know, I'm pinching, I'm just sliding over and come up here. From here, it's pretty simple. From here, all I do is I straighten out my left leg, you see, and I create pressure on his head and I can choke him out. So I go like this. In that direction. Um, let's go this way. So, another perspective. I'm here, he's turning into me. As soon as I feel he's turning into me, to escape, I grab his leg, I grab his head, I control. Now I sit on my right butt cheek. I hook with my left. I come to my knees and still I'm pulling. And now, important thing, you see my right elbow? My right elbow is pulling in. It's like this. I have my hands like this and I go here to really break his posture. That's a very important part of the, the breath. I'm here, here, let's see, it's like here, usually. I pinch. His nose is on his uh, kneecap. My left arm comes out tight. I grab with my right arm, I grab my left and pull. You see, I'm pulling and still I'm pinching. I'm pulling, coming over. Now my right leg is going down, my hips are ugh, and I choke him out. One more time, last time. Same perspective. You know, you're here, he's turning into you. You feel this, you, you switch, you grab, and you grab the head, you control him here. That's the most important thing. Now you hook with your leg, and you pull him into this direction. And I pull my elbow in. And usually his arm has to be inside to do this. You hear, now I come up, grab, and pull. You see now over. Down. You see the leg and the head pretty close, dark stroke, spine is rounded and the posture is broken. That is, in my opinion, the tightest dark stroke from side control. I hope you like it.